Hi, it's Patrick from Shift4. Have you heard of webhooks? Fast, automated, and easy to configure. Webhooks are widely used in online business applications to create notifications about events. We're diving into the details in this video. Watch to learn more. Let's start with events. Events represent everything that has happened on your account as it relates to payments. For example, a new charge is represented as an event. These events allow you to have a full step-by-step -step audit and history of everything that has happened on your account. Using Shift4's API, merchants can view a full list of all events or retrieve a single event. Here are a few additional examples of actions on your account that will be represented as events. A successful charge. A charge dispute was created. A chargeback. A new customer created. A subscription was updated. A plan that's created. And the list goes on and on. Now that you have an understanding of what events are available within your account, Here's a look at how some of these events might appear in the system. In this example, you can see that a portion of a charge was refunded, a charge was made, a customer was added, and the new customer added a new card. Each of these events also has a date and time associated with it. If you need more details, JSON objects can be utilized to access more information. Webhooks are a tool that can be used to receive notifications about the events that have occurred on a merchant account. Webhooks can be configured easily within a merchant's Shift4 account settings. As you can see in this diagram, when events occur, they are passed to the endpoints, which are the URLs that are provided to Shift4 using webhooks. The webhooks tie these endpoints and events together, so it's important to maintain and process them appropriately to ensure that there's proper synchronization throughout the entire period of the webhook configuration. All of this can happen very quickly, so what's more important is that Shift4 is the market leader when it comes to processing and sending information about events via webhooks. On average, the information about events can be sent via our webhooks in under a second. When receiving webhook requests, each time an event is created, we send it to each configured corresponding webhook URL. The event data is encoded as JSON, and in that form or text, it's sent off to the merchant accordingly. And last but not least, responding to webhook requests. To successfully process a webhook request, merchants need to return a 200 HTTP status code. All other status codes that are returned will result in a failed delivery. Shift4 sends the merchant's information about the events to the corresponding webhook URL. In the example, we have successfully returned a 200 code. Again, an event happened successfully returning 200. Yet we see an error on the third attempt because the returning code is 400 or another status code data. Shift4 cannot accept any status code other than 200. So we will keep trying to send a request until we receive the right status code. If nothing happens after an adequate period of time, Shift4 will automatically contact the merchant to try to solve the issue. When an initial request attempt fails, each subsequent attempt will be delayed by 1, 2, 4, 8, 15, 30, and 60 minutes accordingly. It's very important to note that Shift4 cannot send you additional event information until the 200 status code is received. This is because all events need to be delivered in chronological order. What's good to know is merchants using Amazon don't need to use HTTP. These merchants can simply integrate their webhook URL with SQS, SNS, or Amazon Kinesis. 
Thank you so much for joining us today to learn about events and webhooks. For more information about Shift4 payment solutions, visit our website or contact us with questions.